Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about something that a lot of you guys are going to have questions about when coming to the Fresh Start servers again. What is the fastest way to level now in 2022, getting closer to 2023 actually, with these Fresh Start servers November 2nd? So a lot of people asking, like I said, the fastest way to level. And it's something very, very obvious, and I still have to make a video on it just so that I can answer all of the questions that have been coming in when it comes to my streams and it comes to the YouTube comment section as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is the main story. That's the most obvious, right? And it's actually the best thing to do. So, you know, depending on what zone you start out in, these southern zones down here, uh, it could be Cutlass Keys, First Light, or any of these, like I said, Monarchs Bluffs. It, it really could be, like I said, any of these below zones. But when it comes to these, you're going to want to stick with your main story. When you look at my main account, I've skipped a lot of the main story. They've come out with so many new quests so many different side quests as well that I've skipped so many on my way to 1 through 60 because they just weren't out yet. So with the update of the 1 through 25, you're going to be way over leveled compared to where I was getting past some of those starter zones. So just imagine you guys really, for the most part, just need to do all of your main story. Crush that. If there's ever a time you want to stop doing your main story, go over to a side quest. Or if you want to do something different, you can do town board missions. However, their, their XP is not how it used to be. If you guys see any old videos talking about how to level up the fastest in New World, and they tell you to go over to a town project board, well, they're definitely outdated, and this is not the best way to do it anymore. If you look at some of these, 200 XP, 100 XP, 350 XP, I mean, you can still do them if you want. And they're going to give you project points and, of course, territory standing, which is nice depending on where you want to build your house. But realistically, this is not a thing that works very well anymore when it comes to leveling your character very, very quickly. So ignore town projects for the most part unless you really want to do them. And then the one other thing that you can do that is daily is definitely going to be faction missions. Let me make sure I'm running to the right spot here. I never really come to... Uh, the Covenant faction guy in Everfall anymore, but if you guys are looking to do faction missions and you do your daily, it's going to give you a decent amount of XP. So let's take a look real quick at the faction rep in Everfall. This is probably a low tier zone that you would be able to do most of these every single day. So daily bonus here at the top, it says three of three. If we actually hover over some of these, it looks like you're going to be able to get well, zero XP, actually. I don't know if it doesn't give you any XP or if that's because I'm level 60. These used to be very, very good. You're going to have to check that one, unfortunately, for yourself. As uh, I can't really, can't really check that as a level 60 unless I start a new account, which, unfortunately, I don't have time for right now. So let's go over to Reekwater real quick and double check because I know I have a Lazarus Instrumentality faction quest ready to accept over there or ready to complete. But I don't believe... It's going to give me any XP, like I said, because I'm level 60. So let's continue on, actually, with some of the rest of the video. So when it comes to, like I said, these leveling up the fastest, I did say it was something that's very obvious. Like I said, the main story quest is going to be your best. It's going to be your bread and butter from 1 to 60 all the way there because they've added so many new quests as well. And by the way, side story quests, definitely, at least when you get to Brimstone, are definitely worth doing. You can see I still have side stories to do over here, but when it comes to these, they give you great, great rewards. Nowadays, you know, they give you Umbral Shards, they give you Gypsum Orbs. Gypsum Orbs going to guarantee, you know, expertise bumps later on, and then Umbral Shards is going to get you from 600 gear score to up to 625. So a lot of cool stuff that you can get in later zones when it comes to side quests, and they've also updated some of the cool stuff that you can get in these side stories that are around the world. You can see how many, like I said, I have left with the, you know, music coming out with Morningdale. I've never really touched a lot of those side quests. Same with Restless Shore. There's a lot of them, and these are all going to level you up so quickly. So really, it comes down to, like any other game, continue to just quest, quest. And if we actually go to the faction rep, though, it's, that's the one thing I kind of want to mention as well, is it is definitely worth doing your three daily missions, even if it doesn't give you XP. So come over to the daily mission guy uh, wherever you're at. You know, let's say you're doing Everfall because you want to do Starstone Barrows, that expedition. Make sure to get these refreshing so you can see all missions will refresh in five minutes. So deselect the ones that don't have Starstone Barrows and continue to look for those throughout the day until you have about two or three and then run the dungeon. You're going to get two of your three daily bonuses complete. A lot of good gold. So here, like I said, 270 coins 
for the Lazarus instrumentality when I complete it. And then you get a lot of reputation, tokens, which tokens can actually lead to gold as well, depending on what you buy. And if you are looking to buy basically gold with tokens, you'll need something like Educator. Uh, that tier is going to allow you to buy Gypsum Orbs, which isn't gold. So actually, it's going to be Lumen, sorry. And Lumen's going to have Grand Rune of Holdings. And you can do Lower Rune of Holdings as well later on or earlier on. But it depends if those are worth it to you. You can actually take a look at your market on your server. But that's going to be more of a gold guide. So I'm not going to jump too much into that. But you can also go for the chunk of concentrated iron, which gives you resilient as a perk option when it comes to crafting, which can be sold for a good amount of gold as well. So those are going to be some of the options you have. And like I said, this video is really all just basically saying main story side quests those are the main ones like always to do you want to make sure you're doing those you want to take advantage obviously of those three daily missions but that's going to be more gold oriented and faction token oriented and territory standing oriented as well so those are going to basically be the only ways to level a new world now it's going to be all about questing for the most part there's not going to be much kind of hidden ideas like the old town board like it was back in uh, the release town board was unbelievably broken and very, very overpowered for how much XP you used to be able to get. So if you want to still take a look, like I said, definitely do so. But you can see that it's just not going to be worth it. You can see my total XP here at 1.165 million. Um, or sorry, one point, really it's about 1.1 million, 1.2 million. Which is crazy because these give you 160 apiece. So just take that into consideration when you're thinking about it. Uh, so this one here actually is worth something. It's 1,830 XP for 40 weird wood planks however that's going to be a very costly one to complete so like i said some of these can be worthwhile so you can still take a look if you want but for the most part this video is a video just stating previously like i said main story side quest going to be your bread and butter up to level 60. So thank you guys again for tuning in. If you guys want to tune in for the Twitch streams as well, twitch.tv slash iGraphGuy, we're going to be starting fresh as well. And you can ask all of your questions, whether it's builds, leveling, gear, anything on twitch.tv slash iGraphGuy. I'm going to have a link down in the description of the video as well as the comment section. Stream is going to be 6 p.m. Eastern on Saturday, Monday, and Thursday. So I hope to see you guys there.